Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. So, um, I I don't have a lot of monsters collected today. I uh, I actually was farming golems a bit yesterday for for a little bit of gold just to upgrade some of my gems. I finally got my Dark Sea Star gems to to max basically. So, um, I think she's pretty decent. Like they're they're not really good. This one's only a five star gem, but it's it's uh it's still kind of okay you know like these these two gems are, are definitely like this one's pretty good this one's this one I won't, I won't lie it's pretty pretty awesome um but yeah I I've basically I've just been just been farming golems for a bit um trying to get some gold and some gems and also working on trying to get an actual dark mono with a square slot you know um I mean if in the end I don't get a dark mono with a square slot she's still gonna be usable like she's not gonna be that bad um, but, but I mean, it's not going to be as good as, as she can be. Um, so I, I definitely will keep trying until the very, very end. I mean, a lot of people are like super, super freaking out. They're like, don't birth your truffles. It's not, it's not worth it. Um, but I don't know. I, I don't know if it's worth it or not. I just, I just want my dark Mona. Like, I don't, I, I don't care. I just want my dark Mona. Like, I really don't care about anything at all all right this is this is horrible I that was that was my one rebirth for for uh, for today <laughs> I, I really can't do much um, that's that's really all I can do but I I wanted to want to still share my my progress and what I what I plan to do next I think it's time to start making new plans for for the future because um, you know I've kind of been stuck here for like a more than more than a week I've basically just been here for for just trying to rebirth Dark Monas, and I've been raising random six mo six star monsters and farming them just so I can I can farm more monsters and grab more Dark Monas. Like that's or grab or s rebirth more Monas to, to get more Dark Monas. Um, there's going to be an update very very soon. Like they're they're buffing a lot of Nat fives. They're doing a lot of changes and stuff. Um, and I think in that update, the Venus Fusion is going to be out. I think it's going to be out after after February, basically. Um, but I there's a there's a really really big change to HP aggression. I think um, they they're saying that they're going to buff HP aggression. I don't know to what to which rate um, if it's ever going to be as strong as defense aggression, because. I think defense aggression is not just strong because of how much damage that defense aggressors actually do. Defense aggression is actually really strong because um, because of how the way like passive healing works in this game. Um, so if you have like a monster like the Dark July, Dark Jack, Dark Water Persephone, you know those monsters that can heal per turn based on their own max HP. They're very very strong if you pair them up with uh, with defense aggressors because. The defense aggressors have a set amount of HP. Like this Dark Sea Star has this, um, you know, set amount of HP, and the uh, the the defense, you know, ma makes it so that this HP is actually more effective. And um, the flat heal always heals for the same exact amount. You know, like maybe the the Water Persephone, like a really well built one, can heal like 10k a turn. Um, and and yeah, you'll basically the Dark Sea Star will be getting like a, almost a third of her HP back every single turn, you know. So uh, if you and if you do the same thing with a with a with an HP aggressor, not only do they not do as much defense as defense or do as, as much damage as defense aggressors, they they're also like harder to heal up to full, you know. So um, and and heals are flat in this game. Like heals are based off off of the recovery stat, you know of of your unit. So even if you have an active healer, it's still based of your based off of your 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 stats. The only exception I find to this is is shields that scale with monsters max HP. So um, an exception is like the Dark Cupid, who has a shield that is proportional. It's this is not um, it, this is very very misleading. It says grants a shield to allies proportionate to own max HP. It's not his max own own max HP. It's the allies own max HP. So therefore, if the monster that he's granting the shield to has more HP then the the shield will definitely be thicker um, so he's a very very good um, monster to pair up with HP aggressors and he, he himself is already an HP aggressor as well so that's definitely really really good um, I'm really happy that they they're planning to buff HP aggression so I think um, maybe a next an, like one of my next projects like maybe 
uh, ideally, if I get the Dark Mona, I will definitely start raising her. Like, I, I, I won't start raising her right away. I'll rebirth until the very, very end, the very, very last day of the Mona rebirths, and try to grab as many Dark Monas as possible. Um, a lot of people have been asking why I want so many Dark Monas, or why I want the Dark Mona so badly. It's because she has the ability to help you farm really, really fast. Like, Morel Boost New Curse basically can... can can nuke through maps really really hard like um i'll an example is like i i actually gen my my wood nightmare with like full attack if you can if you can see her her gems like these are just random gems but i basically put crit rate double attack on her so she has a pretty decent amount of attack um for for only a five stars and these are only like gems to you know, that upgraded plus nine five star gems. They're they're really, really shitty throwaway gems, but I I decided to gem her this way because of how morale boost works, and she has an AoE on her second skill. She doesn't even have any sort of like bonus effect. Like taunt is basically useless. Um but I, I've basically I've been gemming her up this way and she farms these like wood water maps really, really fast. So if you're if you're like trying to like power farm normal mode, what you could do is like you can put in you just put in like a, a monster that has like morale boost and an AoE on his second skill and you can farm very very fast. And the, the thing is I want to I want to eventually get a Dark Mona that has like I want to build her with like near 100% crit rate and just um, if possible in the future build her on siphoning set as well. And then she'll she'll basically keep boosting her bar like over and over. And then to the point where she's just AoE nuking the whole map, you know. So so you know this this nightmare is going to do her AoE it's pretty much gonna kill everything and then and then um, she you know you, you do this again and then if you have like three people three morale boosters doing this you can get through maps super super fast like you basically will clear uh, clear these normal maps in like you know 20 seconds or something like that um, and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to get three Dark Monas, um, especially like, or try to get them like all with like square slots and stuff, because I can, I will, I will be able to farm through maps very, very fast. And in future events, where I, whenever I need to capture anything, um, I'll definitely be able to capture like, you know, like just, you know, even if I need like 60, 70 monsters, I can, I can do that very, very easily. Um, that's one of the reasons why, why I really wanted that monster. The second reason is it's my, it's my. It's literally, like, the Dark Mona, my obsession with the Dark Mona <laughs> comes with the, like, there was a, there was a video I actually made. I think in the next video, if I do, I'll, I'll edit it in. Um, I made a, while I was looking at my Giants team, I was, I, I was like, I was talking about a monster, like, I was just basically trying to create my own monster. And I was like, alright, so my v vision of the perfect monster is Attack Leader. And I was looking at my dark team, how my monsters were all dark monsters, so I was like, alright, alright, um, I think attack leader is very, very hard to get, so what if, like, there was a monster with dark attack leader, and, um, morale boost on first skill, and hunter on second skill, you know, and an AoE on second skill as well, and a dark type, and it being a dark type monster, and that was, like, my vision of the my most wanted dream monster um, in the game. And then the next day, they r announced the news of the Dark Mona. Like, this is not a joke. Like, it's literally what happened um, with the Dark Mona. And I, I, like, although her hunter skill is in 50%, it's only 30%, it's still very, very good. So, I I think my obsession with the Dark Mona comes from comes from that. It was like, just, she, she has everything I want, um, basically, in a monster. And I that's why I'm so, so damn obsessed right now and trying to trying to get her so badly trying to get one with a with a square slot so I can build her perfectly to complement her high crit damage um, but yeah that's basically it that's that's literally that's really just why I, I really want the dark Mona um, but my plan is if I if I do get the dark Mona like I, I will definitely be building her I'll keep rebirthing I, I will, I'll like not build her for a while and then I'll keep rebirthing until after I can I can um, you know after the event ends and then I'll be able to farm the maps for Mona's and raise her to 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 like you know evil evil three get her to evil three raise her to six stars um, and if if not then I think maybe like after they ch make the changes to HP aggression I might start building one of my dark mihos 
and um, in, in the future I might actually be able to use two, depending on how powerful they make HP aggression. If they if they actually do make make HP aggression really really strong, what I could do is I could run, I could literally just run, um, I could run like Dark Sea Star, Dark Miho, and then like Dark Cupid. I, I'm not sure if I want to use my July. Maybe I can maybe I can run one Dark Miho and then I can build up my second July, the one with the with the crit rate slot, and then just build her with um, crit rate HP HP, and then she'll be able to hit pretty hard. And I and she's an HP aggress aggressor as well with her second skill, and then I can I can use her as like a semi passive healer slash AOE nuker. Um, I can use that to to like farm Golem V10, you know. So make a really stable team as well for Golem V10. Um, the other option is to go go for a full light team. Like a lot of people are running are, are running the 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 um, the Snowies, the Julys, and I think what I could do is also build Light Mona. Light Mona is a defense aggressor with Adrenaline on first skill, so she has self-sustain as well as uh, as well as aggression, and she has a nice variant skill for for light. So if I do like a full light um, Golden Speed 10 team, I could run her leader, and she'll she'll be able to help my whole team hit really really hard. But yeah, that's basically it. That's that's all I got. Like that, I'm just. Um, I'm always open to, to suggestions. I'm still thinking of what I what I can do. I don't, I don't have to make the decision right away because I'm still raising my um, my July right now, or not July, uh, my my uh, snowy right now. So yeah, that's basically it. That's that's all I got for for my plans for for today. Um, yeah, today there's not a lot to, <laughs> to do today. I'm just basically discussing discussing my future goals like I like I usually do. Before all this craziness of the Dark Mona, before my my uh, crazed obsession with her, but yeah, that's basically it. That's all I all I really got. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for sticking with me through like the most horrible like torture porn that you have ever seen. Like just me rebirthing Nat Four's rebirthing um, um, the the truffles rebirthing like everything basically like everything I had saved up. I Rebirth all of them. Um, it was it was pretty insane. But yeah, I'm not done yet. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna keep going until I won't stop until the until the rebirth actually ends. Like I've decided to go all in, uh, just go all the way. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, hopefully you guys you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you you had some good laughs with me um, going on full tilt. Well, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.